So you finally got a PS5 and you're running out of space already. That SSD that got soldered onto the inside of the thing just isn't enough. I hear you, you got to delete games to go into other ones and you're making like Sophie's Choice going on. I'm with you. Let's talk about how we can get some more storage space on the PS5. Stick around. What's going on everyone? Seth Miranda here, coming to you from the Streamlab here at Adorama XP, the parallel gaming channel to Adorama TV. And today we're gonna figure out how to get some more storage space in the PS5. Cause I know if you're like me, you have filled up with games in like two seconds, especially if you're gonna play COD, like in one update alone, will just max this thing out. And I'm the type of person that likes to have a lot of games just on deck and just kind of go with what I'm feeling like playing that moment. Maybe I'm a little weird. Let me know down below if you're like that. I just like having as many options I have out there instead of having to like delete something then download something and wait and all this I'm not like that but in the past with PlayStation 4 you were able to plug in a USB external drive and you can do that with this as well and store games on here but what you can't do is play from the drive so if you still want to play the games that are on your external drive you still have to make space on your internal memory on in the SSD on the PS5 that's soldered in there to then transfer the game over so I guess all you're saving is download time, right? Or maybe the frustration of downloading, I'm not sure. But it's really not a solution there. What you really wanna do is expand the actual onboard memory. And you can actually do that since PlayStation has updated the, gave us an update to the PS5 in general to allow us to use this NVMe drive socket that's on this unit. So let's talk about what the hardest thing about this is gonna be, which is the getting the right drive, because once you get the right drive after that, it's it's just super easy to do, especially for someone that has built PCs in the past, you know that this is like laughably easy to do physically, right? So let's talk about the requirements for the SSD. I'll put them like right here. The big ones are, you're gonna be looking for PCIe Gen 4 M.2 drive, okay? Now you can have a 250 gig to four terabyte size. Maybe they'll expand that in the future, but right now it's 250 to four terabytes. And you're gonna look at a 5,500 megabyte per second read speed, which is pretty typical for Gen 4 at this moment. There are some that are slower and some people have gotten slower ones to work as long as they're Gen 4. But I'm just gonna say, you know, I recommend kind of sticking with their requirements because you don't know what their updates in the future are gonna do or change or whatever. So if you're gonna buy a drive just for this, I recommend you go with the, these requirements off the bat. As far as the physical size of the drive, you don't have to worry too much about that. You have a lot of leeway on this and, and I'll show you why once we crack this open and I will put a link down to Sony's specific requirements down below in the, in the description so you can check that out. Now, as far as the drive I'm gonna install today, I'm lucky enough to have this WD Black SN850 NVMe drive, which is two terabytes, gen four and 7,000 megabytes per second read speed, which fits all the requirements I need. And it even has this built-in heat sink, which is awesome. You definitely want that. But what's great about this one is it's not too thick. It will actually fit inside the socket of the PS5 once you close the heat shield over it. You can't say that about all SSDs. Some of them are too thick to close that heat shield. So what I recommend is check with the manufacturer, whatever brand you're using to make sure it will actually physically fit inside the PS5 once you close that heat shield. Now I realize this is a higher up there kind of drive, but I have it on hand. I'm lucky enough to have it on hand. Uh, and if I ever need it, I can just pull it out of the PS5 and put it into something else that I would use it for, but I have it. So, oh yeah, I'm going for it. Don't forget to absolutely shut down the unit unplug it and take off the base, all right? Once you do that, you're able to take off these super stylish side panels here, these plates, and uh, we're gonna do that right now. So why don't we switch to a top down, I'll crack this open, and we'll talk about how to actually put in the drive. Okay, so I've got my PS5 here. It is unplugged and the base is taken off. Obviously we shut it down first. And I've got my WD Black SN850 M.2 NVMe drive right here, and a number one Phillips screwdriver, just a little screwdriver. Now this is the part that's probably gonna freak you out the most maybe, I don't know, if every time I've shown somebody, they're like, ah, you think you break it. But to take off this plate, what I do is I take the back of it where the, you know, the ports are, I lay it away from me, and then it's the bottoms here. So this corner right here, you're gonna pull back and then down. And that's basically how you take off the plate. So I'm gonna pull back and then and you think you broke it. You, it sounds like you did. I swear it freaks you out a little bit, but you're totally fine. And then all you're gonna do is go right here. This is where this drive is going. This is the heat shield I was mentioning before that we're gonna have to close down in, and hopefully the heat sink fits. 
Uh, for me, I know it's gonna fit, but you know, you're gonna wanna check again with your drive manufacturer. So we're gonna open up this one screw right here and this heat shield pops right off, boom. And right here is where we're putting that SSD. So when you open it up, you can see that there's multiple thread sockets over here and they're all labeled with numbers. Those are the millimeter length of the drive. So you can go from 33 millimeter, 42 millimeter, 60 millimeter, 80 millimeter, and 110 millimeter. Well, this drive is an 80 millimeter. So you can actually see that it's gonna go up to the 80 thread mark. So what we're gonna do is take out this little screw, in fact, let me zoom in a little bit. We're gonna take out this little screw and under that screw is a tiny little standoff, which is a spacer that we're gonna move to the thread that we need. Like I said, that's an 80 millimeter, so we're gonna move it to the 80. I'm gonna unscrew this really quick and we're gonna take out that little spacer and we're just gonna move it, or standoff rather, and we're gonna move it over to the 80. So now, when we put the drive in, it'll sit even instead of like being screwed down and bent sort of. So to put in the drive, all you're gonna do, actually, I'm gonna spin around this way. It's probably easier for you guys, right? All you're gonna do is slide it right into the socket here. And it's got a little bit of a bounce to it. You're gonna push it down. You're gonna take that screw that we took out and you're gonna start threading it right in. And you'll actually see why that standoff is there once you start doing this step, because if it wasn't there, you would be pushing that drive down further than it has to go. So I'm going to just screw this down really quick. You don't need a lot of pressure. You just need enough for it to stay in place, right? And then you guessed it, we're putting down that heat shield. So we're gonna slide this back in like that, drop it down and just screw this in. And that's pretty much it as far as getting it physically in the PS5. Now you can leave this open, the, the panel off for now while you're working with it if you wanna just be sure, but you know, you can also just put it back on. And that's it, it's, it's physically in there. So let's plug this in and go through what the screen looks like when you are formatting this drive. So let's fire up this PS5 right here. Okay, so we fired up the PS5 and this is the first screen you get. Now you can check out here that it'll actually go through formatting your M.2 drive, which is what you want. Otherwise you can just turn it off and then remove the drive. So you either don't format and turn it off or you're gonna format. Obviously we're gonna format it. And once you do that, it'll start putting through the process of getting it all set up. It gives you your read speed, which we're looking at 6545 megabytes per second, which is, pretty up there. And if you saw the message before, it said you can't use this drive for anything but games. It won't work for photos and videos like I mentioned. You hit okay and it'll basically tell you you're, you're formatted and you're good to go and you can change all whatever you need inside the drive itself through your settings then to your storage and the installation location. So you can actually dictate where you want the games to go, whether to the onboard internal or your added on expansion memory. And that's it, we're good to go. Probably one of the last things I'll leave you with is the drive you add onto this will not work for things like photos or clips or screen grabs or whatever, or any type of recording that you are from gameplay. It's only for games themselves. At least at the time of recording this video, that's where we are with the PS5. Maybe Sony will do an update where you can use the added on memory for that purpose. And I know you wanna have as much storage as you can for things like that, but Unfortunately, that's not where we are at this time. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them down in the comments. If you have any other insights that you wanna to lend to this, or maybe if you just wanna be part of an awesome community, hit up adorama.com slash discord. There's a lot of people in there that can share a lot of knowledge and you yourself can share yours. And not just for gaming, but photo, video, audio, streaming gear, everything. It's a really great community we're building there, so consider checking out the Adorama Discord. And don't forget to join us live all week long on twitch.tv TV slash Adorama XP. We have special events all the time and just really great roster of hosts that have been building an awesome creative community. So consider checking that out. And lastly, don't forget Adorama.com slash gaming to stay up to date with everything we're doing uh, right here on this channel and other places. All right, guys, my name is Seth Miranda. You can find me at Last X Witness on Twitter, Instagram, all this stuff. Don't forget to like, share, read around, hit subscribe, plus the bell to get notified. More videos like this come out. I think that's it. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>